What's up guys? Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. And today's test drive is this 1967 Impala. This one here's got the believed to be 327 power steering, power brakes, and aluminum radiator. Also got the AC compressor, but it does not have a belt. It's not hooked up. And I like to go around picking out the flaws so you know what you get before you get here. I'll try to find anything from rust to dents to bondo, whatever it is, and we'll put it in the video. I see a little bit of puffing coming out of the exhaust here. We'll be checking that throughout the ride. Look at the 100 detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Finance and shipping, it's all there. All right, guys. For now, sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets you think the horn works. It's a game we like to play on the channel. This seat here is basically one of the only things that I see wrong with this interior. The back seat, the package tray, all that looks pretty good. You do got a light stain right here in the ceiling. Also one right here. Just a little dirt stain almost. Coming across the dash, little crack there. And the carpet is a little older. You do got a tear here. Try to look around, make sure I find everything. But this seat definitely needs to be re-upholstered. Uh, you can see spots, and it's mainly on the driver's side. Obviously it's from wear. Let's go ahead and start her up. This one starts up good, showing 75,000 miles. Got a quarter tank of gas. We'll change that throughout the test drive of the clock. Sometimes you could just do that and I'll start working, but it's not. Radio, all the way up, not working. Blower motor. It's blowing, but of course, compressor's not hooked up. Wipers. Boom, they work. Turn signals. Not flashing, but it's on. You can do it manually. Right side is flashing. Place those bets on the horn. Ready? Hey, it works good. All right, let's hit the road, see how she runs and drives. So before we take off, I did see a little puff of smoke coming out the back there when you read the engine. Uh, we're gonna continuously check that, see if it goes away, what, it, what what's going on with that. Let's keep on uh, rolling through here. Anything I see, I will let you know. Actually, reverse, it's going into gear good. Drive, working. Let's head on up to the gas station. We'll get about $20 worth of fuel. Brakes. A little touchy there. It was pretty smooth rolling out the lot. Speedometer's coming up on the dash. She's shifting out good. It's got a great sounding exhaust. Straight as an arrow going down the road. Nice tight steering. Holding her to the floor. Pretty good, brakes. They're stopping pointy fast. I'm not even having to get into them hard. Get around 40. I'm at it. It's not wanting to shift down, which means the uh, shift cable may not be hooked up to the carburetor. That being said, you can shift down manually. I didn't see any smoke coming out the back when I did that. Seems to be running nice and clean now. Let's pull into the gas station. We'll get some fuel and hopefully beat this rain. We're probably going to be doing the walk around under the carport in the back of the lot. We have non-stop rain today, which has held me up on videos. Welcome to Tennessee. That's all it does here. <laughs> So we're gonna pull up in here, get some fuel right now. Quarter tank of gas. I think it's gonna work. You can place your bets on that as well. Do you think the gas gauge works? I do. We'll find out though. Okay, getting ready to roll out of here. Spring's not very strong there. It's got a little spot where it's holding. Pops back up. There's your gas cap. $20 worth of fuel in it. Let's see if it works. So that's where it was when we got here. 
and it is on the way up. It is working. Let's keep rolling. Okay, so far so good other than these clouds. Let's roll on back to the lot and uh, we're gonna do the walk around, get her up under the awning just in case it starts raining and see what all we can find. That's where I'm picking up the chips, scratches, flaws, rust, dents, whatever. Even this little piece right here, I'll point it out. It's a little seal that goes around the window. Getting into the brakes again. Like I said, these brakes feel pretty good. I haven't noticed any more puffing. Seems like it smoke's gone. It's like it was just a pine cold start. Hope there ain't no naders in that. <laughs> Let's see here, we'll start down in low. So one thing I have noticed, the uh, readout here, the needle is not moving around exactly where it needs to be. Basically, when I put it in reverse, it's in part. Neutral is reverse, and drive is in between reverse and neutral. So, yeah, that's not reading exactly correctly on the shifter there. But it is going in every gear perfectly. It seems to be shifting out nice and smooth. Motor's pulling as it should. 
this is more of a cruiser still got plenty of pep uh, and the shift down cable is not hooked up or if it is it's not hooked up properly so okay yeah wish us luck on this rain <laughs> I'm going to pull in, get under the awning back here, and I'll see you here in just a moment. Picking out the flaws is coming up next. All right, here we go. Picking out the flaws. Gonna walk around this ride, look for chips, scratches, rust, dents, bono, whatever it is. If I see it, you'll know about it. Check out the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. You can also get financing and shipping. Here we go. Front bumper's a little hazy. You can definitely see the age on it. It's got light pitting. Little scratches here and there. You can see a lot of that trim's in pretty good shape. Same with the grill. That actually looks nice and clean. Down this side. Tires, nice. Up and over this fender. Coming on down. A little wax there. You got a little wax in the corners here too. Lots of little light scuffs it looks like, but I think that's more wax that's just coated on there. You got a chip there. It says white. I'm pretty sure that's wax. Let's see if we can wipe some of it off. Yeah, it's starting to come off a little bit. So that's what that is. Chips in the corner of the door. Open over. More wax. I got a lot of it on the car here. Chip there. Same in the back end. Back at midsection. Slight pitting on your door handle. Still in good shape. A couple chips right here in the jam. A little scuff here. Chip here. Couple chips up top in the inner part of the door. Mirror, good shape. Vent window and the seal, good. Weather stripping around this, fairly new. All the trims, great looking around them windows. A little red scuff there, I'm not sure what that's from. up over your back window chrome looks good back window is good down your pillar front window a couple little chips such a beautiful paint job I love this color Coming up on the back end, I need to get the keys to the trunk. A little hazy pitting on the bumper in the rear. Tail lights, decent shape, light pitting. Let's grab them keys. Open it up here. Am I gonna get the right one this time? I sure did. It opens very easy. It's basically opening itself right now. 
a little wire there. Is that for a light? Yep. And of course, around this trunk lid is nice and solid. And the trunk itself, you can tell where it did have a little bit of surface truss and it got painted over. Some little patches here in the corner. This side's in good shape. Looks pretty good in this trunk. Package tray, nice, solid. New jams, weather stripping looks good. Comes down, fairly easy. And locks. A little wax left over up here. Chip there in the corner. Coming on down this side. Scuff right here. Tires in good shape. That's that chip and some dirt. Light scratch there. That might buff out actually. A little scratch there. It's like some wax it's starting to come off. I don't know how you think they get all the wax off. Chip up in the front here. Two little chips. Dirt from the test drive in the front more wax dirt and wax crack right here in the paint there you go you see it a hole right there but the emma you got a ding right here in the trim you yeah you can cross it Start back here. Pops putting price on the windshield. A little scuff there. A little bit of pitting on your door handle. Back over the top of the fender. Front windshield on this one's in good shape. It did have those chips on that other side. It's got some old looking glass in the corner here. It's still nice and clean. Trim looks good. Trim is great around these windows. Somebody must have already replaced all that for sure because I don't even see any pitting. Back window on this one looks good. Right here, you got a couple little cracks. Light, light scuff right there. You can kind of see it. Light scuff up here. And here as well. Made it around the ride. Let's go ahead and start this motor up. Look at the inside. Again, on the interior, it's not too bad. I'd say carpet and this driver's seat or just the whole front seat needs to be recovered. Of course, we'll get to that here in just a moment. Let's look at the door panels. Door panels on this one, they look good. Carpet at the bottom could be redyed. It's showing a little bit of age with the discoloring of it. Weather stripping looks good. Edge of that door looks good. All right, coming on down. Inside your jams. Carpet, see the age on it, it's faded. That towel's back there, we had it on the seat. I just took it off the seat for the video so you can see. It's 
front seat's just got a lot of age on it. Passenger side, not as bad, but you can see slight stuff like that. I don't see really any tears. Back seat is actually in good shape. I don't think there's any need to do anything with it. Maybe clean it with a steamer. Some of that yellow out of it. Ashtrays are pitted. This back here showing signs of age too on top. Your package tray has already been replaced. Headliner, other than those few little yellow spots. It is in pretty good shape. Let's see. There's a padlock key in there. I don't know what that's for. Probably not for this car. <laughs> she starts up good. Didn't really have any issues on the test drive that I was concerned about. Lights in the floor working. Dash. A little crack there. Whoa, look at that's hiding. Where a big old hole got up there. Just in the odd spot, right? <laughs> kind of convenient that this can flip up over it. All right. Quiet motor. Fan shroud's busted. It's also got some zip ties and stuff holding on to something. A little bit of a small battery there. I haven't had any issues out of it. Fenders and everything up under the hood is nice and clean. Edges up under this hood look good. Got some light chips from the road across this trim here. Little ding there. In this lighting, this side of the hood's a little hazy. Might need some wax. See that? First time I've seen that on this car. Up here as well. Definitely is. It's just a little bit hazy here. Can use some wax. Guys, I appreciate you watching. Looks like we beat the storm. Thank goodness. Be sure to subscribe, share, hit like. Go to maplemotors.com for financing and shipping. And we'll keep these cars coming your way. Every Monday, we'll post new rides. With that being said, I appreciate you watching. See you later.